And looking ahead to the Gasparilla Pirate Fest next week, today you missed a crew announcing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will serve as Grand Marshal. That means the Bucks will lead more than 95 parade floats, 50 crews, seven marching bands, and the infamous Ye Mystic Crew of Pirates down a four and a half mile parade route. Again, that's next Saturday, January 29th for the Pirate Invasion. But this weekend, the Bucks are focusing on the Rams and winning their second game of the playoffs. And the last time the Buccaneers and Rams met in the playoffs, a controversial call ended the Bucks' run for their first Super Bowl. It was an instant replay reversal that ended up leading to a rule change, but it's still not clear 22 years later. Yeah, and today, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler talked with the receiver who still thinks it was a clear catch. The catch that wasn't. It became part of Bert Emanuel's legacy. The play he thought was going to be part of a game-winning drive, sending the Buccaneers to the Super Bowl. We had the, the momentum, we had the confidence, and it just felt like the whole game was shifting in our favor. The 1999 NFC Championship game was a defensive struggle between the Bucs and the St. Louis Rams. But in the final minute, Tampa Bay trailing 11-6 seemed to have found a rhythm. Emmanuel's catch of Sean King's pass would have put the Bucks at the Rams' 23-yard line with time to take shots at the end zone. And Sean just threw a dart. I mean, that ball got on me quick. The play was ruled a catch. The Buccaneers called a timeout, and Coach Tony Dungy talked with Emmanuel about what they would do next. I said, well, um, I, want to run, uh, I, I think I can beat him on a seam route and then give me the corner route in the back of the end zone, corner of the end zone, and uh, then we'll celebrate that we're going to the Super Bowl. And he said, you ready to go to the Super Bowl? And I said, yes, sir. But then a referee came to the sideline and told the Bucks the play was under review. This was the first year the NFL had gone to the instant replay. We all kind of paused, like, what, what do you mean, review the last play? Well, I mean, what, what are we reviewing? The review found that while Emmanuel had control of the ball, it touched the ground and was not a catch. Two plays later, the game was over, and the Rams were headed to the Super Bowl. I was in shock. I was... I was in dismay, it was confusion, it was chaos. In the offseason, the rule was clarified, so plays like this one would be a catch. It became known as the Bird Emanuel rule. But the definition of what is and isn't a catch has continued to be an issue in the two decades that have followed. The explanation or the interpretation of the rule has been just all over the place. For years, Emmanuel struggled with the memory of that play and what might have happened if the catch was ruled a catch. We were marching down the field, and there was just nothing that they could do to stop us. No Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.